Okay, I was so afraid for a second that I had somehow failed a quest. Hello, my friends. My name is Anki, and welcome back to another episode of My Time in Sandrock. Chasing Elsie mission start. What in the world is this? What in the world is this? Okay, so... Um, hey there. Oh. We already have something for you. Go on. We went to survey the tunnel area real early this morning, but the old world building that sits across the canyon is all sorts of unstable. Let me guess. I get to stabilize it. Heidi and I can still get across to do our survey job, but I think for actual construction to start, we'll need that bridge pass reinforced to ensure its structural integrity. Fantastic. I believe what we have looked at this area before, and I was like, ooh, this is probably leading to the next big area. We're hoping you could do that for us. Of course. Thanks. I have some basic work table recipes and assembly station diagrams with me. I think they should be enough to reinforce the bridge pass. Lay it on me, baby. While Let's see what it is. Stalin, please also clear out the boulders on the bridge pass. Let me know when you're done. Thanks. Of course. Okay, steel panels, steel braces, a bridge too far. Okay, go to Elsie's secret spot. Okay, so there's a lot going on to start. This is exactly what we wanted. Also, the stars align with Katori. Okay, so look at this. There is Mabel and Justice talking right here. There is more Katori stuff. I have to go install this, which should be done. We have the clear the way. So we have the bridge pass, cool. And then I believe this is the Elsie quest. My goodness, on top of that, we have a letter. Let's check it out. From Al Allo, oh, this is, um. This is Katori's son. Hi, mom said you made my train for my birthday. I wanted to say thank you. I really like it. I made a set of tracks for it. Okay, well, that's really cute. From Elsie. I done did it. I ran away. I can't live in the house and right my wrongs at the same time. I ain't a kid, and I don't need to be treated like one, so I'm gone. And I don't know when I'm going to be coming back. Luckily, I'm prepared. Took everything from my treasure chest. I've gone to a real quiet place somewhere I can think for a while. Monkey, come meet me at the cave I told you about. I reckon it's best if we talk, and please don't tell anyone else. I just need a couple days to think. Okay, totally understandable. Mysterious letter. What in the world are these codes? This is so strange. Okay, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with that. Um, I'm guessing that they're not being lost. Bacon cabin magic. Okay, weird. So that was the last. How many of these have we gotten? All the pieces are falling into place. I'm so close. I can taste it. Okay, see, these are so strange. Okay, well, um, I am completely clueless as to what those are supposed to mean. So I'm just going to continue to wonder. Let's see if we can't. Um, I know I was making something somewhere. Here we go. No, not here. Did I do it all? Okay. Wasn't I trying to make a couple ladders? Ooh, light adventure bottoms. Cool. Little lamb doll. Okay, hilarious. We do need to make those. We need a little more clay for this. We need one more switch for this. And then I believe... Okay, let's get our bearings and see if we can be um, of, utmostly, of utmost efficiency today. I Okay, Yakmo Station. Oh, I've made two. I have an extra. Okay. <laughs> I had forgotten that I made one. That is funny. Okay, so we have two Yakmo Stations, and then we have two of these ladders in addition. So let's map out what our plan is. I, okay, she just gave me plans to make a bridge too far. First, we need to clear and then collapse. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is clear the structures, and then I think we'll get an idea. Okay, we've upgraded our pickaxe. No problem there. We have to do this. So let's see. Can we start by going on over here and seeing what this is all about? I would then maybe poke our head over here, see what's going on. Come down here, figure this out, clear those. Maybe talk to Katori, and then on our way... Over here. I'm overthinking this, aren't I? Let's just go have some fun. I'm done planning for the day. Let's go. Okay, I do need to check on my animals, which make a lot of poop. Somebody didn't go to the bathroom, though, it appears. Or they just doubled up one on top of each other. Okay. Good morning. Your uh, uncle, Uncle Yaki Poo, loves to step on my head. And so this is just what... Um, this is what... Yak boys do when uh, they love their yaks is they stand on their heads. And you need to learn. 
Let's see, how much of these do they eat? So they eat eight a day. I have 313. I really don't need to grow these for um, much, for a long, long time, which is nice. Okay, come, my sweet yak. Let us go. Let's see what's going on over here. This should be interesting dialogue. Don't worry, Mabel. We'll find her. Oh, they're still looking for Elsie. She's, she's out there alone. We'll let she you know if there's any news. Now, nah, go and rest up, you hear? Okay, now there's a justice quest. Let's see. Oh, hey. So you heard about uh Elsie, right? It's a tough thing having your daughter going missing like that. I ain't envying them ranch folks one bit. I feel like as the sheriff in town, he should maybe be a little more concerned. Like, did she say she ran away or did she just disappear? I'm still gathering information on the case. You're a friend, right? Can I ask you something? When did you last see her? A few days. I think I saw her yesterday a few days ago. Okay, got it. Nah, anything to think she might have run away? She had an argument with her parents. An argument? Interesting. Adds up with what the parents were saying. All right, last up. Do you remember anything that could have given you a hint that she just ghosts like this? Did she ever talk about it before? Uh, you know what yeah, she's like. I know she's a tough gal, but it's still dangerous around Sandrock. I'm kind of worried. Everyone babies Elsie. It's frustrating. Anyway, thanks for your help, partner. I gotta go write all this up. If you hear anything else. Just let me know, okay? Okay, I think we did a good job covering for Elsie there. I don't want to seem like I know what I know, but at the same time, ooh, Unsure's onto me though. Unsure, the real, um, the real detective on this case. All right, let's go talk with Elsie and uh, make sure that she's making all the right decisions. Can we get down from here? Yes, we can. She's way down there, by the way. This is also, okay, so this is the area where we have to clear. Okay, this is cool, collapsed building. We're gonna, okay, nothing. what is this? A little survey machine, cool. Let's start by knocking this stuff down. <coughs> Could have done the LC thing first, but then of course I got distracted by this. I really wanna see what's over here. <coughs> Ka. Uh, a lot of junk. <coughs> Is there even a bridge over here? Or is it just garbage? We'll be so convenient. Hello. Random ass tumbleweed. That's so weird. This one really doesn't want to pop. There we go. So I guess this is a bridge. There's just been so much debris on it that we couldn't even tell. That's cool. Okay, we got that one. Let's get this one. Ooh, look at that crazy tree over there. I'm so curious to get over to that side and see what is going on. There we go. And then there's another tumbleweed. Let's just send this one off into the abyss. Pop. I mean, this is barely a bridge, right? Look at this. This is completely destroyed. Um, is that it? Why don't we do this? We can stop tracking this one. Okay, so we need four steel braces and five steel panels. Okay, so we're gonna need a bunch of steel, clearly. Can we get down here? Cool. Is there like anything cool over here, like a chest or something? Doesn't look like it. Okay, worth an investigation. All right, let's go check on Elsie now. So we're obviously going to prioritize. Can I even, come on, you can do it. You can do it, big boy. You can do it, yes. Oh, my nimble, my sweet nimble yak. Everyone underestimates you, but not me. Oh look, he's over here, that's fun. Standing here like you a came. like a mini you boss. Right? No one followed you, Mama. How is she? She's worried about I don't you. No, 
I'm worried about her too. She still ain't healed up yet. But did you see my paw back then? Man, I don't remember the last time he got that angry. He was out of pocket for sure. There ain't no pleasing him. No matter what I do, he's always gonna see me as some little girl doing stupid stuff. I have had this experience as an adult living with my parents. In fact, I remember moving away when I was 18 years old and getting my own apartment. And as soon as I was out of my parents' house, they definitely regarded me with more maturity. But then I moved back for whatever reason, I don't even remember at this point, for a little bit. And it was like they see you as a kid again. And for some reason, just them being under your roof, they just suddenly regard you as like some immature child. I mean, I was like 28 at the time. And my dad would be like, yo, you got to get up. It's like after seven o'clock. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm a grown ass adult with a job. I can sleep in past 7 a.m. It was ridiculous. So my point is, I totally empathize and understand what she's going through. After Ma got hurt, Pa's been on my case non-stop. I get it. My Ma getting hurt was my fault, and I'm so sorry it happened. But the Martle Ducks are supposed to be gentle creatures. That's why I tried to attract one. Yeah, I honestly, I, I, sh I think she's probably in the right for taking responsibility for this. But I think that Mabel totally overreacted, running up to that giant duck like that, screaming. What did you think was going to happen? My old man would know if he'd only read a book about it, but he threw it away and he doesn't read anyway. <laughs> uh, Was that book really important? Uh, it's Howlitz. Guy's a monster hunting legend. How can Pa disrespect him like that? Just throwing it away. It's a piece of history. Can we get that book back somehow? You no, know, I actually rented out both of Howlett's books. One was the one Pa threw away, full of all these pretty pictures and lure recipes and the like. The other one's called What It Takes to Be a Real Monster Hunter. Okay, cool. Pa, I brought it Oops, with sorry. me and read it cover to cover. The more I read it, the more sense it made. Most monsters out there don't want to hurt us. They just want to be left alone. And the best way to go about it ain't to shoot him up. It's more about how to coexist. Howlett wrote that force should always be the last resort. There's always other ways to get the creatures to behave differently. It's fascinating stuff. Then what do you plan to do? I ain't the kind of person to run away from my problems. Right now, I'm just focusing on that giant duck. It hurt Ma. But I don't know why. And I reckon it can hurt more folks. I've got to write this wrong. I mean, I think it's pretty clear she just got scared. I'm going to find it, and I'm going to do it my way. I ain't going to go in wildly waving a shotgun like my pa. I just got to learn about it. It's habits, what it lacks. Okay, I love this story How arc. Did it. Martle did it. I'm going to walk in their footsteps. I ain't figured out what I got to do, though. Only Pa hadn't thrown the book away. I'll get your book back for you. My old man chucked it into the canyon. It ain't gonna be found, I tell ya. <sighs> Just thinking about all the work Howlett put into that book. Oh, yeah. I do have a favor to ask ya. I got something. I want you to give it to my Ma. It's a doll from when I was a kid. I kept it in my treasure chest. Please take it to her. She'll know I'm okay. All right. Also, would you mind picking some herbs for my Ma? I want to make sure she's getting better. I got a little money saved up. You can take it. Sweet. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better after talking to you. All right, you can head back now. I got to go find that duck. Do it. It's so boring here. But I still can't go back right now. I know I'm going to figure something out soon. Okay. Um. Oh, look, there is a lot of things that I need to do to get these steel frames, these steel braces and steel panels crazy. Look for medicinal herbs, oregano. Okay, should not be that hard to find some oregano. I feel like we see plenty of oregano out and about. Iron latch, that we actually get from scrapping stuff pretty easily. Did that bird just shoot a rocket at me? What in the world? Okay, I am pretty sure that we should be able to find some oregano on the way back pretty easily, right? Uh, 
Or do I have some? I might have some in a chest somewhere. Oh. Yakthorn. Like this. This is oregano, right? Yes. I just gotta find... Was that enough? Oh, that was enough. Okay, sweet. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, before we do anything else, let's see about making the steel braces. Okay, so we need iron plates. That should be here. Iron plates. I need eight. So we're going to do this. One there. And we need four more here. This is the vast majority of our steel bars. That's a lot. Okay, so iron plates. We need chromium steel plate. I don't know if I have the recipe for that. I do. And how many do we need? We need four. Okay, so we gotta do here. One, two. Here. Here. One, two. Okay, so iron plate, chromium steel plate, bronze rivets. That's an easy one. Uh, four times two. So we'll go there. There, bronze rivets, perfect. Now we need a, we need five steel frames, that's a lot. And we also need three iron latches. We're gonna need a bunch of chromium steel bars. So let's see, three steel latches. As far as the steel frame goes, yeah, I figured we were gonna run out of this stuff. So manganese steel bar, we need a crap ton of these. Yes, oh, I'm so glad we have a bunch of ore. Let's do some math here. We need five steel frames. Okay, time to get out the old pad and pencil. So steel frame. Okay, so, I mean, this was not hard to do, but we need 20 cast iron rods, 24 manganese steel bars, of which we have zero, yikes. And then we need 20 copper screws. Okay, so manganese steel bar is probably the first thing to do. What did we say we needed? We needed 24. So we're gonna do, we're gonna spread this out. Six, now that still takes like a whole day. Oops. 12. Eight. Oops, dang it. Dad gummit. Eighteen. Okay, and then as far as noops, damn, I'm all over the place. Okay, cast iron rod. Okay, so let's see. These are gonna be real quick. Copper screws. We needed 20 of them. We need 10. So we'll go over here, we'll do five. We'll go over here. We'll do another five. And then we're gonna need these cast iron rods. It's gonna be a minute before we can queue these up. We need 20, which means we're going to need more steel bars. Two steel bars gives me one cast iron rod. We have 20 cast iron rod, we need 40 steel bars. That means we need another 30 steel bars. So. Seven. We're gonna run out of iron ore. We're gonna have to go get more iron ore. I wonder if I can buy some. What is this? Is this dirty? Is that what it's saying? There you go. Uh, come here, Yaki Poo. You're in the way. You're in the way, you silly goose. Come on. Uh, let's see if we can buy iron ore from over here. If not, we're gonna have to go diving. I want to make sure that we do that before anything else. Look out. We'll need graphite too. It looked like we were getting low on graphite, so let's see. He doesn't sell graphite, but he does sell iron ore. We're just gonna buy all of it. We'll buy all of this too. Um, I'm gonna buy one of these just in case we end up needing it. Maybe we won't. No, we don't need any of this other stuff. Not even a little bit. Okay, let's hope that that's exactly enough and I don't need any more graphite.
Okay, we gotta tell this guy to just chill right here. Don't, no need to get all up in my business. So let's see, we did, um, how many of these did we queue up? Seven? We did eight, seven and eight is 15, right? And so we need to do another. Seven and another eight. Okay, so we're gonna have to go back into the mines to finish this because we still have to craft the steel. But that's a pretty good, I think that's everything. If my math is correct, which it may not be. We'll just have to find out because sometimes I think I've nailed this stuff and then it turns out I did not. Okay, let's go knock out these quests. Um, I guess we'll head this way first. What does Justice want? Hey, I've been looking all over for Elsie. That girl seems to have hidden herself away real good. Haven't heard anything, have you? I'm gonna lie. Ah, uh, well, keep your ear to the ground, all right? All right, I'm gonna lie. No reason in spoiling her fun. I don't think Justice is gonna regard her with any more respect than um, anyone else. And so I'm just gonna cover for her. She's the homie. She's the homie and uh, you know, She's got to sort of the stuff out on her own. Plus, I'm totally behind her, dude. You can't be putting up with that nonsense from Cooper anymore. Okay, let's go turn these in. This will this will probably assure Mabel that things are all Thank right. Thank you for the herbs, dearie. I've been feeling a lot better these last couple of days. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. This doll. This was Elsie's favorite doll. Did you meet her? Yes. Elsie, my baby. Where is she? Why isn't she with you? Take me to her quickly. She doesn't want to come back yet. <gasps> It's like that. <laughs> that I feel like the next words out of her mouth are going to be very threatening. What should I say? Um, I'm gonna explain Elsie's view. Is that what she's up to? It sounds so dangerous. Oh, forget it. She's like her paw. When she's got her mind set on something, well, there's no stopping her. Okay. I'm sorry you've had to deal with all this, dearie. Elsie and Coop are, well, they're birds of a feather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're both incredibly stubborn, and usually stubborn people just end up butting heads. If Elsie doesn't want to come back yet, maybe it's time we gave her a bit of space. I'll talk to Coop. Great. Thank you for being there for her. You've done a lot for her, for us. Just please keep an eye on her. You got it. My little girl. Oh, God, she must She's... be so worried. Gone. Not gone. She's not gone. She's just away. Where are you, honey? Oh, please. Please help us find our girl. Okay, I got to keep the little doll. Well, that's kind of fun. Uh, relationship up with everybody. Remember when Cooper was threatening me? I did not take kindly to that. Okay, let's go turn. Let's go talk to Katori. And then we'll go install our Yakmail station while we're waiting all our waiting for all of our stuff to craft. Um, and it's not that late in the day, actually, so I might head back into the gas canyons and see if I can't I install those lanterns. I'd run into you. You free tonight? Let's go for a walk at, say, 6 p.m. I know a place with a beautiful view. Uh, okay, we'll do it. I guess that's not what we're doing. All right. See you then. Um, another, another date-ish quest we will... We will play the good friend. That's what we will do. Um, I am actually uh, in need of, or it's about time for another date with Heidi. If we weren't so dang busy, we've got so much going on lately. Man, it's tough when the two of you are just as hardworking as she and I are. It's hard to find time for each other. It really is. I guess it's just this, the nature of power couples, as Heidi would say. But, you know, we have a mutual understanding and respect for each other. I don't think that it could be any other way. So it's fine. Okay, we'll install this. Cool. Trudy is admiring my Odzak statue. Um, how far away? It's an. It's probably pretty deep in here, right? I think it was something like here. So, do we really meet Katori at eighteen hundred, behind the temple? Oh, we do need to get one more of these. Dang, and we were over by the Eufala Salvage already. 
Um, as tempted as I am, I just don't have the time. I don't want to stand up Katori. So, I guess, well, we could finish the switchboards. That's what we could do. We could finish the switchboards, and then with the little bit of time that we have left, am I going to be able to get up from here? I don't know. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. Who knew that Yakmels could climb so well? Absolutely epic. Perfect. One simple circuit. I believe that is enough to finish this commission. I certainly hope so. Right over everyone, haha. Huh? It's <laughs> so funny. Okay. Perfect. Oh, we need a little more clay. That's right. Um, I think we might be able to get that. Do you think that there's any more clay over at Amira's? It's quite possible. Okay, so it's time for a date with Katori. Um, or a hangout, I should say. Oh, she's way the heck over here. Holy crap. Okay, well, I guess I can go this way, turn this in, and then make my way up here. Hey there. Hmm. There we go. Plus 24 on the relationship points. Look out, Musa. We're coming through. Okay, I think like over here right it might be easier to um walk I was worried you were going to get caught up with work. Nah, I always follow through. Phew. Another day almost over. You know, it's the first time I've come here with anyone. You can see so far from here. Really puts things into perspective. Did you get Aloe's letter? I did, actually. It made me very happy. I was surprised he wrote to you. Ma says he's been talking about you all the time. I've never seen him do that before. He never even writes to his pa. Okay, I see what you're doing. Don't make me fall in love with your kid as a way to make me fall in love with you. You know, he's taken it real tough since he left. My ex? Well, he took off before the ink dried on the divorce papers. Sometimes I wonder if he was ever really there at all. Anyway... Enough about that. She has so much more to say about that, but she is trying so hard to keep everything together. Ugh, that is tough. Ma sent me pictures from my boy's party. So cute. Take a look at this one. You can see by his smile how much he loves the train model. Oh, look at that. He has your beautiful eyes. Nope. It made me happy, too. I haven't always been able to give him the things he wants. It was nice to be able to spoil him a little for once. You know... The more I get to know you, the more I think you have such a big heart, and you work harder than anybody in this town to make it grow. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> this is always so tough, the way these characters are written. You know, that right there is just like, oh man, you're kind of melting my heart here. Stay strong. Look at me prattling on. <clears throat> Tell me more about yourself. What were you like as a child? Or how about plans for the future? Uh, I'll talk about me and Nia. Ah, I remember her. I think I saw her running around Sandrock. Heard she was a friend of yours. Uh, yes. You know, I always thought my future would be business and motherhood. Friendship, love, all that was left behind me. I never imagined wanting anything other than bringing my son here. 
I didn't think my own happiness was important right now, but you showed me I was wrong. Yeah, you need to bring your kid here so you can be happy. I never understood that until you came along, but I believe you're right. Happiness shouldn't be dependent on how hard someone works. It just is. I was, so I don't really watch a lot of, I don't really follow a lot of the like stand-up comedians that are pos, that are popular right now, the Joe Rogan people. It's not like I never, I once in a while listen to the Joe Rogan podcast when he has some like scientist on, but one of the guys, Burt Kreischer was on Bobby Lee's podcast recently and Bobby Lee told him no amount of success is ever going to fix you. And I thought that that was one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard. No amount of success is ever going to fix you. And I feel like that's what Katori is coming to realize right now. All of this desire to be successful, to make a name for herself, to build something, a legacy, doesn't solve her problems. It's not solving her problems. And she's missing the joy of just living by struggling so hard to build something that, you know, inevitably... Inevitably, no matter how much time, you know, even if it stands a thousand years, will eventually turn to dust. Isn't that kind of like one of the underlying tales of Sandrock? I mean, we're literally standing on top of um, a city that used to be, you know, this bustling metropolis with millions of people that lived in it. And even then, something that seemed like it could last forever turned to dust. All things eventually turned to dust. And so what does that leave for us? Well... All we have then is right now, and right now is really only as meaningful as the people we connect with, the people, the time that we spend with them. That's it. Well, just thought I'd tell you that I appreciate you being such a great friend to me. It's nice to be able to trust someone. And, you know, if you ever need help with anything, know I've got your back too. All right. Time to get back to it, eh? See you around. See you around. Okay, well, that was really sweet. That was really sweet. I am glad she I did, She was kind of low on my list of people, but she really has grown on me only because I was so offended by the fact that she left her kid with grandma to come out here to just like, you know, build an amusement park in the desert. But I've come to understand that there was a lot of... A lot more going on there than just that. And so I appreciate her. And I'm glad she's figuring that out. I just hope, you know what? If she will just get over it and bring her kid to Sandrock, everything will be great. That would that would be the dream. Okay, do we have... These bars are taking forever. Holy crap. I kind of want to go install these. Uh, do I have time? I think I'm acting like it's a million miles away. Let's do this. I want to see about installing these ladders and see if it leads me anywhere. Because we've got until, what, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning or something? Let's do it. I want to see if I can get it done. I don't exactly remember where they are, but I think I'll figure it out. Hopefully, we only need two and not three. I honestly... Yeah, look. Oh, they're right there. It looks like we just need two. Okay, so this is not that far. Perfect. And I can grab some aluminum scrap on the way back if we have any time. Cool. Oh, I wonder what's up there. Let's see. We're going to tell Yakipoo to stay right here, though, because otherwise he's going to climb all up on stuff. Perfect. Okay, cool. What do you think is up here? Oh, wait, is it two more? One more. Dang it. Of course it's three. Well, let's see what's in the chest. Bummer. What do we get? Ten power stones? Not bad. Is there any more? Can we see any more? What in the world is even up here? Whoa. Okay, I almost killed myself. That's not good. 
Okay, we need one more ladder. Bummer. Wish there was a quick way to slide down. I'm oh, oh, I thought I was going to ruin myself by falling. Let's see if we can find some little aluminum scrap while we're out here. We could chop down some of these sisal trees too. It would be nice if we could find a place where the rats are just like congregating. Because I only need a little bit more of their rat leather. Yeah, this is probably good that we're gathering this while we're out here. I wonder what is at the top of that thing. Oh, I can't wait to find out. Oh, Yaki Poo is not following. He's not. Come on, bud. Let's get going. We need to start heading back anyways. All right. Well, there's nothing really left for today. So why don't we do the outro while we're heading back and I'm grabbing the scrap, my friends. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Hit the like button and subscribe. Leave a comment. All of that stuff is my favorite. Hopefully, we will be able to finish up um, these uh, steel braces and steel panels by tomorrow, and we can push this quest forward um, with the quickness. I really don't want to... Oh, well, this guy wants it. He wants the, he wants the smoke, huh? Come here, bud. Not even a chance. Get out of here. Um, and uh, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what happens next. We're gonna have to bore through the mountain. That is such a crazy thought. Build a bridge, and then if we can connect Portia and Sandrock, I think that, you know, only good things will come from that. We still have to figure out what the conclusion to the Logan story is, though. We, so I have I have not, I know, I know, I'm going to call it. I'm, I'm going to be able to call it this time. I'm just saying that right now. I will know when uh, Logan's about to strike. It'll be like some happy moment. We've just finished. The train tracks are down. We hear a train coming in, and guess who's, like, robbing the train? That's what's going to happen. Watch, watch. Anyways, I appreciate you all so much i will bid you farewell and i look forward to seeing every single one of you next time <laughs>